Hello and welcome everyone for the session on hands-on protection testing in an IEC 61850 environment. For this protection control and automation application testing in an IEC 61850 environment, we use this small setup. The ID and the test is RID 670.25 version from ABB Itachi Energy Make. And we have the ID configured with the basic um, non-directional over current protection function, also the control function for circuit breaker um, open and close from um, MMS client. Also the circuit breaker function is also used for protection tripping from the non-directional over current. Also the ID is configured to send the measurement values or report control blocks and the protection um, start and trip informations are um, defined in the goose control block the goose control block that are published by the ied will be subscribed by the goose configuration module within test universe um, as a feedback for protection application testing and the um, measurement uh, related signals will be um, occupied um, by the 670 client server module to verify the the measurement signals and the ID is configured to subscribe the sample values from the CMC test set. So within PCM600, the SAM600 is a merging unit configured and the file format will be exported as a SCL file that contains the sample value control block and the SCL file will be imported into the hardware configuration module within test universe to publish the sample value from CMC test set that will be subscribed by the ID under test to process protection, um, measurement and control functions. And we have the OTMC under P, um, which is a PTP Grandmaster Clock connected to the Ethernet fiber switch, which is a managed switch from the Hishman Mac. It's also acting as a PTP transparent clock uh, so that the the test sets and the ID and the test will be synchronized to one common time source. And we have the Denio 400, which is a um, um, multimeter here within the setup to measure the network um, signals, which are basically published uh, over the network, the sample value streams, and validation of the, the sample value control block and time server in this small example. And we have the ID code to discover the ID and the test and we can execute the control commands. Also, pull the complete files um, to visualize the, the tripping information or MMS. So let's go to the ID um, under test configuration details. So the PCM600 is the ID configuration tool to manage the ABB make or attach and make IDs. The SAM600 is a merging on it. And we have the data set and the data set is connected to the sample value control block um, which complies to 9-2 light addition and the data set details can be seen by right clicking the id opening the 640 configuration details and we can pick the, the communication services in the top and the process bus communication there we right click the sample value control block in the down and go to the data set details there we see the four current and four voltages and the sample value control block details are in the right side. So the important data information are related to the sample rate, the 80 samples um, per nominal period for protection application testing and the sample value are disconfigured. There's some more networking parameter in this example, I use the default values, but in a real example, we need to use all these parameters as a unique one within the project recommendation. So, and by selecting the input section, we can go to the subscriber ID. The subscriber is uh, RID670. Here we do see the source uh, signals from the merge unit and connected to the targeted ID to the right access point. And we go to the ID and the test configuration by selecting the um, global base value, basically to see the CT and VT ratio. So here we have the 220 kV in the primary and 110 volt. And then we have the 1000 ampere in the primary. The units are in the right side. And next we go to the protection over current settings. So here we have enable 
stage one and stage two and we have non-directional overcurrent and I use a definite time and the setting value is for stage one is 1.8 ampere in the secondary and 1800 ampere in the primary equal to 1000 ampere in the city ratio and we have the time delay of 500 millisecond for stage one and for stage two we have uh, non-directional again and definite time and 600 percentage um, which is the I base that means um, 6 ampere in the secondary and 6000 ampere in the primary and the time delay is 100, mill, 100 um, millisecond here in this example and the protection functions are reachable by right clicking the specific function and the application configuration we could see the the access point which also configured correctly by right clicking the id and going to the ethernet configuration tool we see the the right id um, access point and the communication details where exactly it mapped and the merging unit um, the source to subscribe is used as access point one and the sample value id is configured correctly and we come back here to the application configuration so the pre-processing function block for the signal matrix analog input for current and voltages are receiving the signal from the merging unit and the three phase outputs for current and voltage are connected to the over current protection function and the trip information is mapped to the protection trip and the disturbance record and many other information so here we have the circuit breaker function block when there's a protection trip operates and we use a signal to operate the circuit breaker basically to trip the circuit breaker and we have many other functions for measurement and remote control for example the disturbance record function blocks also configured with the right signals for the analog signals and binary signals to monitor the trip information and breaker open close status and the measurement function we use cmmxu vmxu on the the function block is also connected and, um, to monitor the, the power system values um, related to active power and reactive power. So let's go to the prerequisite uh, to start the test. So we understand the ID um, under test configuration. So we right click the substation section and export the SCD file from here. The SCD file is already exported and available in the PC. So we go to the test universe and we create the new test document. Um, that's also possible. And I have already created a um, OCC file. I will explain that to make it more easier within this short time. The first point is um, to provide them the ID and the details, which is um, the right name and the other details in the project um, that need to be filled to have the proper test report. And the system frequency and then nominal current and voltage information um, based on the ID and the test need to be fulfilled here. And next, we go to the hardware configuration, which is very important to manage the, the right access point um, for the current and voltage generation from the sample value stream application. So we are not going to use the physical analog outputs um, for current and voltage generation. Instead, we use the sample value option. And we, I use here one current source and one voltage source. And next, we select the configure option. So there, by default, we see empty. And we need to provide the import SEL option. So we pick the SCL file where it is exported and copied. Automatically, the test universe um, sample value configuration tool has the intelligence to pick the right um, IED that has the sample value configuration. And we can pick the IEDs and we can uncheck the simulation flag to make sure that we are in a 
test environment here and the id and red test is in normal mode so that i need to uncheck in case the id and red test is in uh, in a mode to accept um, from the simulation test set so in that case we can enable but at the moment the id is in normal mode um, so i need to uncheck this the sample value stream need to be enabled and the right access point need to be chosen here at this level and then we need to provide the, the sample rate so we are going to use the sample value publishing part for protection application testing for 50 heights and the 80 samples per nominal predecessor right value and we can go next the sample value stream mapping and the information will get fulfilled automatically post importing of the right id right sample value streams and other networking parameter will also come by default and the only point is we need to choose the data set mapping and we need to map the the cmc current and voltage channels the data set reference from the internal test set to the imported merging unit sample value control block data attribute once we are done with this we can say okay here you can say okay here this level next we can go to the time source which is very important so we are going to use the precision time protocol version 2 and um, in the test setup we have the otmc and let from the device link of omicron we can reach the web browser connection for otmc and let there we can check the ptp profiles so it's also easier to manage the different profiles for different application in case of 610 enrollment it's highly recommended to use the power utility profile which is based on 9-3 and we can flexibly manage in the in case of different industrial application requirement so let's go back here and the utility profile is mapped correctly and from both access point of cmc the time synchronization or PTP is possible. So let's apply here. The next is the Goose configuration. So the Goose configuration test module enable us to import the protection ID uh, Goose control block data reference and post import we see the Goose control block in the down and we can able to just drag and drop the protection start and trip data attribute the boolean signal to the physical binary input also we can use make use of the adding the virtual binary inputs when there is a requirement of testing many different signals in one shot. And choosing the right access point is very important at this level. We can just expand here. You can also see here the signal which I have drag and dropped already. And next is the 620 client server test module, which is very important in this session, where we can import the protection ID configuration from the protocol configuration option. So here we can import the CL file and pick the right ID and we can even see the complete content of the ID by enabling the description in offline. And we can add many different states here by selecting the state menu. Under the main menu, we can add many different states and we can manage the different state um, requirement, how many different currents and voltage outputs we really need to simulate and then we can make use of the response to check and validate the, the IDs are correctly sending the reports and the data set reference are really getting and the right values are not. And I have added um, the different states, for example, to verify the 0.2% of the current, I am injecting 200 milliampere in the, from the test set and I'm expecting uh, the 200 ampere in the primary. So these are the values that goes to the right um, logical node, which is a CMMXU one here, the function block um, instance and the data attribute um, under the right um, logical node will be used for validating it. And we can make use of um, any other different scenarios like 0.5 ampere if I inject um, on all three different phases and the response also I can pick the same data set reference and make use of the different requirement and most importantly um, after import the ID we need to also manage here 
no change in case if you really no need to change anything if you want to change the mode of the id under different situation want to change the mode of the id to test mode and the real environment or test environment to check it that's also possible flexible you can manage it and enabling the reports this level is very important we need to pick the the reference that will be used in different um, states those report control block instance need to be occupied before we add the test different states so after verification of different percentage of measurement signal so this is like a wiring check before we start the actual test of um, simulating the false scenarios so that we make sure that the sample values are properly published and the id is monitoring the right values and next um, going to use the different fault scenarios like phase current um, phase over current fault for different phases and phase to phase fault and three phase fault and the expectation can be easily managed the fault values here in the output and we can also see the response what type of response are we really looking for we can manage very well the so three different options in order to all the values we need to use that data attribute subset in case if you only validate the report that's also possible to do that flexibly in case if you want to verify both report and data set that's also possible to check all three three different options are flexibly um, used within the module so in this case in the state file we are simulating the work current fault in the r phase and then we are expecting the R phase should get tripped and you can able to see the assessments in the down we can easily add many different assessment by inserting the assessment and we can pick the different assessment that we have added which value and we can manage the parameters here by choosing it and the expected values can be provided here and the deviation also possible to manage um, very well here and post having the false scenario what I'm doing, I'm also verifying whether the breaker is really open for the fault. And then I'm also verifying um, post fault by executing the control command. For example, post the fault, the CB close command is executed from the client server test module and the signal will be getting high and the breaker will be closed. And again, I'm simulating another fault and um, phase two and then you can see um, response also monitored here on different levels and further the breaker is closed again um, and then similarly i'm doing a different level of verification for different scenarios so these are the part of the test cases and we can able to validate next we can make use of different um, dedicated test modules and we can able to configure it very well from global configuration and the hardware configuration that you can also see from an example here for two, two different stages sorry under the test object we can see the worker and protection function the elements can be added here and the setting values are here the 1.8 ampere in the secondary and the 6 ampere and the setting value the time delay and these values are already configured so let's execute this um, OCC file and we will see the response from the start and continue the sample value will be published and we can see the this goose configuration module is starting so, uh, the subscription of goose messages from the real id next the uh, next is a 613 configuration validation for the different states that we have added so overall we have almost 30 plus states which we can able to validate in quick time with this dedicated 620 clean server module and it also supports um, the validation including the timestamp and the deviation also accessed very well and the different false scenarios and close commands for 
single phase, face to face, and three phase walls can be validated and verified in different situations. And with this complete scenarios are part of the OCC file. It's like a um, collection of different test cases in a test suit and we can able to reuse in different situation. Starting from the factory acceptance testing, once we have the real ID, we can start using of cre creation of test cases within OCC and execute them and share with the testing and commissioning team. And we can also use it for site acceptance testing before we adjust the system. The monitoring purpose sometime can be used and complete validation is done almost with all different states. <clears throat> we get the complete timestamp when the break is open for different tripping scenarios. And next module will get automatically open post closing of the, the specific test module. Next is the overcurrent protection function. Starting from the pickup and drop of test for different fall conditions and the test results also comes automatically. So here basically we are using the goose configuration module to subscribe the protection start and trip data as a feedback for this um, protection function. So in conventional um, protection we use the, the spare output contact from the relay or the, the dedicated output tripping contact um, used to connect to the binary input of the ID and the test. So in this case, it's very easy. So you just need to map the right um, data attribute of the protection trip and start to the goose control block and need to map those data attribute to the goose control block and you are good to go. And complete testing is done and you can able to visualize all this test report by exporting it and you can able to open it um, one by one and verify very well. And the monitor can be expanded easily and the report can be copied. And for example, let me close this and I can also show you quickly the Denier 400. So Denier control is a um, software to manage the Denier 400 hardware application. So the acquisition is to configure the Denier. So by double clicking it, we can go to them time menu there we see the PTP sniffer so this is used to synchronize the test set and it also validate the, the PTP time server in a network next we can select the system under test so there is an ID imported so we can remove all this ID to make it more easier I'll import the CD file So this is how the default scenario looks like. Again, we can import all substation configuration description or the system configuration description. We pick the merging on it and sample value control block and it automatically monitors the, the sample value control block here. So in the down, you see the ports, which you can able to plug, pick it and map the data. The right side to the signal pole, go to the observation and you can able to pick the instantaneous values for the current and voltages. And here we can be able to manage the different level of monitoring like phaser, current and voltages. So let me inject uh, quick CMC here with the current and voltage show you let's see 50 percentage so current and voltages will be visible here in the denu 400 and we can also manage the power system values here so we can pick the current and voltages create the power system the right side in the signal pool we can add many different sheets so the multimeter view, 
the total power can also be visible with multimeter and different values. So we can manage the current and voltages level measurement with this level. Then we can also use ID scout to pull the the complete files during the protection testing. That makes more easier by providing the IP address here. We can able to pull the values. So by selecting the files, the recent complete files can be open within the trans view. So we can able to view the instantaneous values and we can see the tripping details of different phases and when the breaker is open, all these things can be seen clearly. So there are many different um, testing solutions available. So feel free to contact us in case if you really need some support for protection testing in a 615 environment. So these are the different application use cases with Omicron testing solution for digital substation testings. So thanks for your attention and I'm open for the questions now.